What's up you guys? Welcome back to Skefcom Knowledge. I am Skef. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. I really appreciate it. Like in the title said, I'm going to go over three insanely hot books right now that I didn't think could get any hotter, but have. Blows my mind, and I think there is, I don't know, I'll give you my opinions on whether you should buy, sell, hold on these three insane books, and also, there is going to be a giveaway. My good friend who actually interviewed me back in December, because we met at a little local show, Joe, the owner of, check this out, the Archive of Comics, guys. This man has created his own website where he talks about everything comic-related, sells comics, and I highly recommend you checking out this book that he is selling for the grand total of $0. It helps you learn how to ship books better, which some of you, not all of you, but you know who you are. You know who you are. It's just a phenomenal website. I've had a chance to kind of peruse it through a little bit. Has a couple books for sale. My favorite thing on there, which you should totally check out, is this lovely interview that he did. It's a lot of fun. It was just a good time that he had, that I had with him. My favorite thing is the, the, the Archive of Comics blog. It's about seven different pages, but just talking about a bunch of different people and industry types and anything comic book related. But I really suggest go check them out. Let them know you checked them out because I recommended it. Um, and also, because the giveaway um, is all thanks to him. He sent me some books to just give away to the community because that's how awesome he is. And I'm going to give away the books. I legitimately have no idea what they are. We're going to open up and find out what we're giving away and how many. I don't even know. There's like a lot of books in here. But we'll, we'll figure that out later. We're giving away some books though. And I'll be posting links to the bottom. Uh, for his website and my interview if you want to go check it out. But without further ado, let's get into the first book on this list. It is the hottest book right now, in my opinion. Nah, that's not correct. But this book is insane right now. It is obviously Canto number 1 by IDW, which came out in June of 2019. Hasn't even been two years, people. Hasn't even been two years. But look at this, though. This is a great little article that uh, Comic Book Invest did to cover all the variants and covers and everything for Canto number one that you need. They did the same thing for Something is Killing the Children uh, a couple weeks back on the video that I made for that one. And I'll post a link down here to everything I'm showing in the video. But this is a phenomenal breakdown, just like you said, going over Canto number one, what to look for, uh, all the different covers. And this right here is a crazy part. If you look at this, print run of about 6,300, 400 insane and if you're not familiar with the series when the books came out almost 90 percent of the run had defects on the main front cover toward the spine in the center three little lines that were on every cover and you actually we, they, they couldn't get any replacement copies so this is the crazy part where like they had the first print second print Third print number one. Then they had a couple exclusive covers. Now, there is one on here that they didn't show, and that is the New York Comic Con exclusive cover, which would be right there. This isn't on the list. I actually sent them a message saying, you guys should probably add this one to the list because this one actually is another hard one to kind of track down. It was in beautiful shape because it was a con exclusive, but still a number one that's not on the list. They should add it on there. But it's amazing what the print run is. like. So 6,000, you know, 3,500, 2,000. It's one of the things where this book right now that has officially been announced uh, from the Will Smith Studios, they're going to animate it, and then Drew and David are going to be hands on the project, which I think is my favorite thing going forward, that he's going to write the screenplay, they're going to be executive producing it, like it's going to be their thumbprint on this project. Can't tell you how excited I am to see how this little tin knight that could, um, and how well they project him, and I'm really interested to see like the voice, like it's going to be phenomenal, like I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Now, my opinion on whether the time right is to buy, sell, or hold. Before I show you, look at the CGC census. We saw the numbers here. You can check that out at Comic Book Invest. This census here, though, this is insane. If you thought a lot of books had a low print run, this book, census-wise, is insane. This 9 eights, just 130 of them. Think about that. 6,400-ish print run of the just issue first prints. This is just the first print number ones. Only 130 of them that have been submitted have come back. But now, granted, only f about three to maybe 400 CGC ones have been submitted. So I'm sure there's other ones out there by other companies. But 
I do believe you are going to see perhaps maybe not nine eighths, but I think you'll see more people getting their copies graded. It's not an old book. It's still a fairly brand new book, not even two years old. Uh, just a great accomplishment for them. Like hats off to them. Great job, guys. So what I plan on doing now, I I have a couple copies. I, I have a couple copies. Of number one, I have, I have one of the one in tens, which are hard to come down to, and I have I have one of the uh, one of the con exclusive ones. As of, as of this point in time, there I have no interest in selling at all. They're asking for ridiculous price right now. There was a all the copies of Canto sold the day this got announced. Like as soon as like the announcement went up, and then Key Collector put their thing up, and then like I had one third print that I was selling on eBay that just went like that. I'm just like, oh, well, that was very quick. They all got scooped up. People had no issues paying six, seven hundred dollars for a nine eight number one. Now, if you check this out though, this is insane. Lowest, lowest asking price offer right now for a Canto number one, twelve hundred dollars. Did no trailer. It just made the announcement. Twelve hundred dollars for a year. Eh, call it eh, almost two year old book. Uh, with the San Diego Comic Con, which I believe was limited to five hundred copies, going asking price, asking prices. These are just asking prices. They're not selling. But these are asking prices, which you know. More news comes out, and if they are unable to get more 9.8s out there, it's going to be a challenge. Going to be a challenge if people can't find nice copies of this book. And then you have the 1 of 10, also asking price of 1300 But I, I, at these prices, I'm not buying. I can't really, can't be really spending that much on there. But as of right now, I am. I have the four or five copies that I have, or they're just going to sit there. They're not going anywhere. I've sold a couple copies already, and I've made my profits. If but at the end of the day, it's, it's what 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 it's what you believe. This is my gut. My instinct is like they're not going anywhere. I'm, they're too hard to come by. they the condition of them was trash upon release, which I think makes it entirely too difficult to get these high grade copies. And then the factor in trying to get it replaced if I do sell it is even harder because I do I do love the story. I do love the series, and I mean, there in my mind there could be potential for even more growth like imagine if the trailer drops that's just my opinion my opinion is that like i no no not gonna sell any they're gonna sit there i'm just gonna wait see what happens but yeah these ask price right now are insane pretty much anything under 900 dollars is just going immediately but there are copies that can still be found out there as you like there are still nine o's nine twos nine fours like there are opportunities to get into this book no nine eights maybe that ship has sailed but I do believe there are still opportunities to get in the book. There are the first print, second print, third print. There are the three different convention exclusive covers. The the one in ten is kind of a ghost now. I want you to just like look around. There could be good opportunities out there. All the books are kind of damaged, so that kind of helps a little bit. No one's gonna have a near mint copy of the book lying around. But those are my thoughts on Cant Number One, the option news, what I'm doing with the books, and what I plan on doing in the future, and I'm not sure yet. I, I really don't want them to go anywhere. I mean, I'm just like, I'm, I'm along for the ride, along for this journey, and we'll see how far it takes us. All right, man, next book up, this series, I touched on this a couple weeks back. You guys seem to love that, and I love the series, if you can't tell. Something is Killing Children, number one prices, have now maintained over the past couple weeks. There was that huge spike when they were selling from 500, and now they're pretty consistent around that 700 range as seen here these right here are the cheapest copies you can purchase off ebay right now for that 699 cover price this one that says last one has sold four of them sold four of them at that 699 price this series at the end of the day doesn't make any the canto makes sense right option hard to find terrible print run six out like that like that's a for me that i can understand that this though, this is this is this is amazingly crazy, and I love it. I'm all aboard this hype train. This series has really kind of taken the world by storm, and it could be it could be the next big thing. No one knows. I don't have a. I can't see everything. I'm not all knowing, Skeff. I haven't hired that guy yet. Like I said, there are six total printings of number one. You have the first through the sixth printing. They can still be found out there. At least the raw copies are pretty reasonable still. But people still have this book. This book isn't two years old at either. It's literally just a year and a half old, fresh new book. People have copies. And right now, I see a lot of people selling copies, people taking their profit. It makes sense, right? Book's blown up. It's only an issue 15. 
issue 16 doesn't come out till May. Like I understand taking profit. I sold one copy of a third printing because I had an extra one, and then I sold a couple cop. I sold a couple copies of number two because I have a bunch of them. So yeah, it's always great to take a profit. Take a profit. It's a win. You never go broke by taking a profit. But at the end of the day, there was only around 33,000 copies of this book ordered divided by three different covers. So when you go over to the CGC census, this is just going to show you just the cover number one. But this is a drastic comparison, guys. This is something to look out for. Like this, These books were printed with great quality. Great paper, great cardstock, like just really good stuff. Which is why there's that huge discrepancy between that 9.8 to that 9.6 range, at least for cover A. You can see about a thousand of these books have been graded and almost 90% of them have all come back in a 9.8. So buying raw copies of this book rather than graded copies, probably your best bet if you can find them. And I'm sure people are more than happy to sell you a book for like $250 for a book that they got cover price. Which, if it comes back in nine eight, there you go. Could be worth like five to seven hundred dollars. Like it's a it's a it will win for everyone. For me, I probably maybe will sell a couple copies of maybe not cover A. I'm not. I'm gonna totally take a profit on some of these. But for the cover A's, for the cover A specifically, no, hold in the box, forgetting about those. I am. Those are not going anywhere. Cause the crazy part about think about this. These are the asking prices for for no news for. For 15 issues, I believe, I believe Canto has almost 15 issues with the one shots and the two series six. Yep, yeah, they're close, but I mean, like two books that have you know 15 or less issues are commanding these prices. So, the one thing I do want to say though is what happens if this show gets optioned? Like, will these prices be sustainable? Will you see the census skyrocket? Will more people send copies in? At the end of the day, like, if this show inkling of an announcement, do these prices double? Is that something that logically could happen? For me, though, cover A's holding pretty much everything else negotiable, at least in my opinion. But cover A number one's staying in the PC. All right, guys, I hope you're really enjoying this video. If you are, please Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm doing my best to try to get out some more informative videos out there for you guys on what my thoughts and opinions are for this crazy comic book world where we're seeing prices of everything going bananas. I really, guys, hope you guys are enjoying the rambling. One more book to get to, but before we do that, let's just go ahead and, and open up the gift package from Joe and see what books will be given away. The copy of Ultimate Fallout 4 in here, this video is never getting aired and I'm keeping the book. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm airing the video, but I'm keeping the book. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Or am I? Also, guys, painter's tape is your friend. Use painter's tape. All right, so what I'm probably going to do here is I'm going to look through these books. Let's find out what we got together. First off, Joe, thank you so much. You didn't need to do this. This was a great thing. Guys, go to his website. Get a hold of him. Thank him for this. This is awesome. So the first book up is uh, Sarah, The Roll Stars. Just a beautiful number one issue right there from Vault. Great loot, ca loot Crate exclusive uh, Big Trouble in Little China cover. This is stunning. Really great looking Vampirella number 12. Oh, this is stunning. Look at this. This is Guardians of the Galaxy number one Greg Horn cover. A great Clayton Crane uh, Black Widow number one. Uh, something you not need to look at. This is going to be mine. A Captain Marvel 24 nullified cover. Oh man, this is awesome. Amazing Spider-Man 55. Second printing. Oh, look at this. Daredevil 25, the second print as well. Then a great looking Power Rangers, uh, New Draken number two, I believe. It's just a uh, an exclusive cover. Beautiful books here, Joe. One lucky subscriber is going to win all those books except for something that's mine. It's my book. I'm keeping that one. I'm keeping it. So one lucky subscriber is going to win all the other books. I will send them all away. No cost to you. Thank you for watching. This is stunning. You're a good dude. To win these books, comment down below what is your favorite spec book for the next year. I'm curious what you guys are picking up, and maybe I should be picking them up too. I would love to know. You definitely know the three books in this video I am picking up and holding on to for a while, and I'd love to know what you guys are doing too. And then just make sure you're a subscriber to the channel, Hulk smash that like button, and that's all you got to do to win these beautiful books, and I'll ship them out to you. Man, that's awesome. Okay, okay, okay. That's amazing. Joe, that's awesome. Thank you. All right, last book. 
Last book is a book that is infamous on the channel. More infamous than that book, more infamous than Kanto. It is Ultimate Fallout 4 in a CGC 9.6. Because that book is always on this channel in one way, shape, or another. So this has been crazy. With a few rumors out there, live action Miles Morales, more Spider-Verse, this book's commanding price nowadays is insane. First, I just even want, before I show you the first print, look at these asking prices of the second print. I remember a year ago, a little over, maybe a year and a month ago, I was able, you could find these books, second print, either cover, I believe, for like 20 to $25 a piece, give or take. I think I bought a couple of them. But think about that, though. Nuts in just a year, what has happened? The market has really determined which second printing they value the most. Like, I always thought it was going to be the Spicelli cover, but they said, no, no, it was actually this second printing. And I, unfortunately, not unfortunately, I have more of these than I do of these. But at the end of the day, I'm happy I have them regardless. What we're really here to talk about is what the first printings are doing. Because they are outrageous. Even, which I, I'm not showing here, a 9.2. 9.2 is asking price of like $600, I believe. But these first printings, just two or three months ago, $500 for a 9.6 and then 1000 13 for the 9.8. Those prices are, they're gone. Those prices no longer exist. The book has gone bananas and I don't think it's coming back. These 9.6 asking prices are now crazy with the cheapest being, you know, 1080 and just kind of going up from there. But the most important thing to remember, though, is that of all the books that I'm showing you tonight, there was a print run of maybe around 60 ish, 60,000 ish copies of the first print. Now, interesting part about this book as well, they all came in a poly bag. There's a lot of people out there that didn't take it out of the poly bag, which caused terrible creases to these books. So it's one of the books where that it was a massive print run. But a lot of them got damaged, surprisingly. So if you head over to the census, and this is just for Ultimate Fallout 4, the first printing, you find a whopping almost 9,300 just CGC copies, not CBCS or PGX, or like just the just CGC copies. So 9,300 copies in CGC, but with almost an equal amount of 9.6 to the 9H, which I find to be astounding. Because as a man who has gotten only 9.6s, seven of them, I could see where it's a challenge to get that 9.8. You bet your bottom that I'm buying copies of this book raw. I am going out there. At last show, didn't get lucky. But for the future shows, at this point, with the fluctuation, volatility the book has had, it is now, I'm pretty much official. Like I'm going to go out and try to pick up copies raw and see what I can do from there. For the 9.6s that I have, not going to sell any of them. Not Maybe the 9.2, probably the 9.2. 9.2 I'll probably sell. 9.6s... No, because at the end of the day, these prices are nuts. I, what I have into the books isn't that much at all anyway. So if they come back down to 500, I'm still going to be in the positive. So when it comes down to that, holding my 9.6s, buying up raw copies, and I don't think I'll see an opportunity to pick up a 9.8 anytime soon. So that's why I'm like, going to pick up some raw copies, see how it does. But I still believe in the character. I still believe in the character. I don't care about the print run. I know there's a lot of damaged copies. It's just one of the books where I'm just like, I'm going to hold on to this 9.6 till we see him in something live action because I think it's going to happen. Like, I believe it's going to happen. If that happens, what happens to the price point of this book? I always told people I believe the 9.8 was going to get like three grand within like a year and a half. Lack of conventions, everything's on eBay, everything's tracked better, stimulus. Like, there's a lot of things I think factor into it. But at the end of the day, though, I believe that people are now finding different alternative forms of investment. The other day, we just saw CGC post, today on their website, CGC just posted their turnaround time update. They are fully aware of what's happening right now in the collectible marketplace and have taken that kind of step forward to hopefully help mitigate these turnaround times. Purchase an additional 21,100 square feet of space just to prepare themselves for even more of an influx of books, which I think is what's happening. But pretty much all three of these books in here, I'm along for the ride. Not really going to be selling any of them. Maybe some of the children books because I just have quite a few of the additional issues. Otherwise, most of these are going to be hold for me. But a for sure buy on Ultima Fallout 4's Raw if I can find them in somewhat decent shape. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this rambling video. Please stay tuned. Got a big announcement coming soon for Saturday the 20th. I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's just going to be a live show 
for my one year anniversary and I am hyped. Can't explain how excited I am for that. But please, like I said, man, for the giveaway, comment down below your favorite pickup spec for the year so far. Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, win some epic books from Joe. Thank you so much. Guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Skeff, out.